See the pole in front of you? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the video. We are off for a wild camping, hiking adventure to the Peak District. This is Matt. Yup. And Matt's wrote me in on this adventure, so uh, I have no idea what to expect or what I'm doing. So yeah, we are about 10 minutes away. So we've got our rucksacks all ready and packed. Uh, and we're simply, get, yeah, it weighs an absolute ton. Uh, we're gonna simply park up the car. We're gonna hike a little bit into the area that we feel is fit and then set up camp and have a drink I reckon have a drink, have a drink. <laughs> a drink. So, let's do it let's do it so we've decided down there is where we're gonna camp Good eyes. I think this is home. We need it. We've got the top as a like communal area. Tents are set up. There's mats. What's that? A two man, isn't it? Uh, two man, yes. Yeah. So this is also a two man. Um, but, but the thing is what I like is that it's a blackout. <laughs> it's it's very dark in there. We've got plenty of firewood, which we're gonna do now. Relight my fire. Good fun. Oh look, I've still got a torch on my head. I can map it in the daylight. Right, so we've got, like I've made a little nest, got a bit of char cloth which uh, pre-made is just a ripped up t-shirt as soon as it takes in there we go and we've got to wrap it come on This guy, <laughs> man makes fire. <laughs> and now we have some water on the boil, making a nice cup of tea or a coffee for Matt because he wants to uh, no, stay up all night. Oh, I'm going to go for tea now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Sweet. There we go. Lovely cup of tea. Cheers, man. Cheers. Uh, well, it's morning time, and uh, well, it's not. It's earlier than morning time. Four forty-eight. Four forty-eight. Look, the, the lights already up. We've got the jet boil going on. We're gonna have a nice cup of tea. Charging up the watch and um, got to charge up the phone after her, and uh, yeah, who knows what today will bring. It's fun times. Who you got there? Shot. Hold out, isn't it? This is exactly where we were. Tents all gone. Where well, we had the fire pit, you can't even tell. Leave no trace. They'll never find us. <laughs> Very steep. This, it's not easy. 
I mean, it wouldn't be easy without a backpack on your back. And it's definitely not easy with this. Um, I would say this weighs about the same as a paramotor, maybe a little bit less. So a paramotor without fuel. <sighs> Granted, the harness is a bit more comfy. But yeah. Oh, well, at least we'll be fitter after this. You good? Hi. You happy? I am all gravy. I'm now taking all my layers off. I've got to take mine off, but I can't be bothered. So this is the fold, a little building. Or was a little building. Okay, so we are about, uh, about here where we are now with what is the time it's now half one we left at 10 i've not stopped for lunch yet so we're going to stop for lunch and we've taken the executive decision to turn back and head back to snake woodland um to camp out there uh there we as you've seen already there's the um that old abandoned building, not building, but remains of. If we can't make it all the way back, we're just gonna go there. Um, yeah. So that is the plan. We're now gonna uh, use our jet boils to cook some food and get some uh, energy back into us because whew, bloody exhausted. Um, not only that, our water is running low. So that's that. Oh, Matt's cool. got about half a litre left. So, uh, yeah, it's a good idea. We have got a water filter, um, which we will be using, no doubt. Bit deflating, isn't it, that we ain't really done yeah, it? Yeah, but, but I've still enjoyed it. Yeah, cool. and uh, to be fair, it's all about the camping for us, not really about the hiking. We just wanted a bit of an adventure, and I don't think we realised how hard it would be to carry this amount of weight. <laughs> Should we get some food on? Yeah, let's get some food on. Yeah. Food montage. Could I take your... Drinks order, please, sir. Uh, do you know what? I would really, really fancy. Yeah. Only if you got one. I know some places don't, um, especially in the Peak District. Could I have a, uh, possibly get a rum and coke? You want a rum and coke? I would love. I'll be dying for a rum. And coke. Yeah. I've, I've got some kraken that I can release. Uh, yeah, I would like some kraken, please. Yeah. I reckon that's kraken. Oh, we'd have to shot you on the way back. <laughs> But well, I'm thinking just a little bit of coke. Yeah. Oh, um, I mean, we get two like, drinks. Yeah, get two drinks. Yeah, yeah. Two drinks for the price of one can of coke. That's it. Now, yours is a lot wider than mine, so is that strong? Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that's strong. That's really strong. But we're being conservative. It's, it is strong. Is so, it? on the menu, we have. The Wayfarer, ready to eat, hot or cold, all day breakfast. All you gotta do with these is tear it off, uh, light it up, and keep on stirring. That is it. Get it hot and eat it. So uh, we're gonna find out what these are like. It's not really a fair price, is it? They're very expensive. Yeah. How much was mine? I don't know, um, it's from Decathlon. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's the convenience you're paying for, isn't it? So, Let's see what it tastes like. I feel like I'm we... trying to extract like toothpaste. <laughs> then it is it's got that consistency. Like squeezing yeah. it down, yeah. It's got the consistency of toothpaste. It's either bacon or that's egg, I'm not too sure. So yeah, that's that's all you get. I mean that that's my hand. You get more in a tin, didn't you? Definitely. I think so. You get more in a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Let's heat it up, see what's what. And see if it's yum yum. There we go, that is fully cooked. Does it taste good? No, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, it's, it's, it is tasty. Yeah. Yeah, that ain't half bad. Matt. Got a little something on you. <laughs> Saving it for later. 
So yeah, like six, seven quid for that. Or you can get chili con carne um, for like 150, two quid. So this is the path. You literally just fall, slip, trip, and that's the hit. So we're now on our way back. We've made good ground coming back up here because we know exactly what we've got to do when we get there. Which is finish a bottle of rum. Bit boggy here, mate. It is, isn't it? I'm going this way direction. Oh, look, oh, watch out. Big river. Good shout. How you doing? I'm not going that way direction. No. Gotta be squiddy. You'll go. Right, you know what I'm gonna do there? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> like jumping. Who don't you listen to, Matt? Everyone. Random men claiming to be hey. special forces. They were nice. Yeah. They offered me cookies and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's in our spot. Ah, oh. so we made it back to our first base camp. Yeah, oh, done. Shit. What? But what a view! Oh, Someone's in our spot. Ah, oh. haven't taken off this. Kick him off. I think it's unfit old age and carrying something that probably weighs the same weight as a five-year-old. So I basically gave a five-year-old a piggyback for the entire hike, which started at 10 o'clock, finished at half four, through boggy, muddy, yucky, stuff so one thing i have learned about wild camping and hiking is the amount of stuff that you need to bring uh, for a two-day hike i would bring more food and more uh like chili babies peanuts little things like that we didn't bring none of those uh well we brought food but yeah it was just the basics um i would yeah, not bring so many clothes, not bring my seat, get a smaller tent and a lighter tent, um, get a smaller little uh, mattress or a lightweight mattress, the same one as Matt's, uh, which we will show you in a bit in comparison to mine. Now mine's cool because it's got the little pump inside it, um, but Matt's you can blow up and his blows up quicker than my pump up one. We're now going to enjoy our caramel lattes, have some ibuprofen, set up the tent and drink a bottle of rum, <laughs> then get some sleep. This is my first time trying to build a fire <laughs> and it's going to go horribly wrong.
Oh, yay! <laughs> I did a thing! <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually how much you get out of a tin of macaroni and cheese in comparison to the Wayfarer um, pouch. So I would say that the Wayfarer is not actually fair. It's not that fair. It does weigh a ton, but it's not that fair. Yeah. <laughs> and while we're on the subject of that, the, the Wayfarer food, the, the all day breakfast at least, was really, really nice, like very tasty. However, after about an hour, I was pretty hungry. So it's almost like a McDonald's. It will fill a hole, but not for long. And to be fair, for hiking it is great. You don't want to be sort of feeling all lethargic and stuff because you've got a full belly. But on the other side is you're eating because you want a full belly. Mate, what you got there? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that was a better night's sleep, but it again wasn't great. It wasn't long. And I was up most of the night. So, uh, yeah. And then in the morning, getting rudely awakened by the owls and the birds. But it is nice. Just listen to this. So here we are, all packed up, um, just using the last of the water, make a nice cup of tea. I'm going to uh, eat the bread and have some chocolate spread on toast. Always a winner. Matt's got the uh, the Weetabix. Um, Weetabix on the go because we are on the go home. So that is that. It's surprising. I think I've said it before. How all of our gear fits in this i mean weighs an absolute ton but yeah um there we go all cleaned up if you found this uh, video interesting give us a thumbs up if you've got any questions leave them in the comments section below i can't answer them because i ain't got a clue what i'm doing it was all matt's idea <laughs> so there we go lovely and clean left some uh, kindling and a little bit of firewood for whoever else wants to use it but Leave no trace. Leave no trace. Leave, leave, leave. That is it, that concludes our adventure. So. <laughs> That's just made the flame go boom boom. <laughs> Oh jeez, that was funny. Oh, I've got like proper Chinese eyes. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the wheel with me, Michael McIntyre. You already like, moved all the turn. Put the pole in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm... sighs>